Hello, YouTube fan. Got something in the mail today. We're gonna do an unboxing of it. See what it is. Wow. Baby girl's eating lunch. Oh, there it is. Beautiful. Gosh, that thing feels it's a lot beefier. Wow. Got the shifters. Ooh. That yeah, looks good. Buttons. I'm going to have to uh, flip flop some of these buttons around. Huh. It's rough textured. I figured it'd be smooth. Huh. I'm going to sand it down and paint it to match. I don't know if I'm going to paint those or not. I think I'm going to leave those the same. Leave those gray. But I don't know. There it is. I'm going to get it painted and installed. Let's get all my plugs in there. Wow, looks good. I can't believe that's rough though. Perforated leather. I have to see if I can make that blue somehow instead of red. That way it matches the rest of the leather gonna be in the vehicle. Silver stitching. Oh yeah. Alright, there we go. I'm gonna go ahead and pop off the piece here and get it painted, painted to match and probably install it today. All you should do is pull up on it. That's it. Hey, what do you think my YouTube videos are funny? What do you think my YouTube videos are funny? <laughs> <laughs> Avery, I don't know how to get these ones up. I can't see the clip on there nowhere. Oh, there it is. There it is. Avery's a little bitty. There we go. Let's get this one out. clips out there and there. Now these ones, I believe all this stuff, this is right on this side. But on this side, it's, that's not the right one. Um, those are. I'm just going to take them out. They just, uh, well, just like they just unscrew. A little uh, screwdriver and maybe an Allen wrench. Pop those out and put the other ones in there. Sand this down. This is, that's really rough textured. I thought it was going to be smooth. But we'll get that painted and reinstall it. Well, this may uh, take these shifting knobs out and paint them, but I think I like the way they look. Just an Allen wrench here, too. Oh, that's a Torx. I don't know if I would, uh, I don't know if I want to take those out or not. I think that, that silver will match my stitching. I think I'm going to leave those the same. Yeah, I think I'm going to leave those the same. All right. We'll take that out, baby girl. Mm -hmm. We'll take this apart here and reinstall it. Put the steering wheel in. 
We got a screwdriver. We got a screwdriver here. We sure do. Yep, that's an Allen, Avery. Oh, okay. Well, we'll take a time out. We'll come back. We'll come back. That's right. Ford Raptor, steering wheel, power shifters, the way it works. This is from 2016. Go Goose. I'll leave his uh, description, his Instagram below us where I hit him up at. He sent me this wiring harness to hardwire it in and it's full instructions. Slip up came in an envelope. Got you some zip ties in there. Let's see if we can get this thing installed. Got my Raptor steering wheel in today. Got it taken apart and actually painted it. I'm also going to uh, get some other paint and paint that strip on there. But here's what it looks like the face cover off and painted. I got to take off the old one and take the switches off. And I placed them, these switches are the same on this side, but on the other side, I guess a couple of different features that I won't be using, so I'm gonna just swap it over. But uh, take this one off, and I'm not gonna put this one on just yet because I'm gonna do the wiring for the pad shifters. But here you go, let's get started. We'll take this one off. Now, of course, first thing you wanna do is undo your battery. I did the negative and the positive just to be safe. And on the steering wheel, there's little slots on each side right there. And uh, what I found best was a uh, metal screw, a uh, uh, clothes hanger, wire hanger, just slide in there. You can feel the clip. You just push it on a little farther. Stick it in there and you can feel it give. Oh, that side. On the other side, there it goes. Let's get that connection off. Let's see what we got in here. All right, the first thing I did was went ahead and pull that out, as well as this red one just lifts up and over, and then you got your airbags, which looks like a blue. Blue one here, just gonna lift up on this orange part. That should just wiggle right off, as well as on this other one. All right, and you always want to store this airbag, airbag side up in case it does decide to go off. got left is your nut here. Broke it loose. That's it with that. Just pull it straight off and feed that airbag wires back through it. And that's it for that. Now I'm not gonna stick my other one on. Wrap the one on until I get I gotta pull this off and do the wiring for the paddle shifters. But that's just how you get it off real simple. Now I'm gonna switch over the buttons and all this does is pull forward. And there's the clips in there. Alright, I got the steering wheels out and I'm just gonna do a side by side comparison of what they look like. I did switch over the buttons and it was Simple, you just pop up your face cover here, prod up by hand. Like I showed earlier, this piece is prize up. Go, got a little helper out here. There she is. You can be my little gearhead. Avery. Avery. Say hi, YouTube. I know it. Maybe one day. 
Uh, but the Girl Scout for Manette. Let's see here. Uh, step four, I, these are the only sides I switched at. All you do is unplug them. Uh, there's four Torx bolts back that holds them in. And that's it. Just plug them in and plug over. Just digging that paint to match. As well as I can uh, show you all the interior that I finished. I did not paint the shifters. So I think it matched the chrome and the stitching. Take the steamer off to install this, but I, I went in and did it since I'm swapping it out. It's going to pry up here to start off with. I think you should be able to pull pull up back here. This is a connective column. Clips in back there. And then you should have access. To all your wire harness, and this is this is the one that we're gonna get out. Oh, can you see it? This one right here. <coughs> Just plug in, and we repinned it. You pull off this top part, and it's gonna be nine, ten, and eleven. Go here, and then you're gonna snake it down. So I'm going to plug this back up. I can stick my steering wheel back on in case I don't get it done today. I still drive the vehicle. This wire back is going to come out the passenger side and the glove box there. That's where the wires go. I'm going to go ahead and snake it down, plug it back up, and put my steering wheel on in case I don't get it done today. I still drive the vehicle. Take it back through. I'm going to put the cap back on there and install my steering wheel. Okay. Install. I've been plugged up the wires back there. Just doing well. Went ahead and used some uh, leather paint. I think that looks alright. Looks a lot better than that red. I and mean, it's not, not 100%. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and stick this back on there. Snug it in there. Push this. All right, clip in there. Then you got your. In our nut. Now you don't want to turn on the key or anything without that uh, airbag in there. You're gonna get the airbag a lot, and you'll have to go back to the dealership get that turned off. Actually, a little clip right in here, right there. Slide back onto. All right, got that in there. Air back. Color coded. Good back there. Let's just stick it back in there. Go 
a little push. There we go, what's in there? All right, I guess it's time I can give you a quick look at everything after I got it all painted. Steering wheel. Oh, it looks a lot better. Painted. I got it. Little column. All right, and this is like this where I'm gonna get today. Doing it dark, I'm gonna go ahead and try to wire the rest of it up tomorrow. The trim's painted. Raptor steering wheel in, hopefully. By tomorrow, get these pedal shifters working instead of one on the column here. A little sport feel to it. Alrighty, we'll be back tomorrow and see what we got. Alright, Tyler, around the time to wire, run the wires through. I got, uh, that's for your light, I'm gonna put tape over it. So I'm gonna do glove box. See it too well. Pull it out. Then on the other side, push it in. There it goes. Here's my wires I ran. And what I do with, with the wire hanger, just ran it all the way through, all the way through down there, and taped my wires on and pulled it through. These are the excess panels that you want to get. You're gonna be tapping into the gray one here with three. Through these wires here. So let's do that. This is the only one that you're interested in is the gray one. I went ahead and unplugged all of them, as well as I pulled the side off here to unpin it from here. That way I can actually pull it out and work off. This is the only one I'm going to be interested in. I'm going to be tapping into it. And that's it. I just unplug those so I can some slack. And you're going to run your wire after you get wired in. Run it up along there. Follow it down so it's out of the way. I have it. Looks a little curled, but this shit, I'm just doing a test run and then I'll uh I'll splice it in a little better after that. But um go ahead and hook the battery up, crank it up, and see if it works. We got it wired up. Test it out. I'm gonna park my gun, let's put it in manual. Manual, there we go. Shift up. Shift down. Oh, it works. My RPMs ain't up to go any higher, but man, it is work. All right, well, I'm gonna shut it off here and uh, unwire it, wire it up 100% and solder it. Everything buttoned up, got all the panels back on, glove box. Looking good. The wrapper steering wheel in, painted. Alrighty YouTube, there we have it. Got the Raptor one installed. Got my pal shifters wired up. A big shout out and thank you to 2016 Boosted Gray Goose, which I'll link his Instagram below. That's where I contacted him from. Please show your support with a thumbs up, like, follow, and share. Thank you. Y'all have a great day.